Hey guys, Dynamic here. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Dynamic, a Black Ops gameplay. Yes, I'm sorry. If you don't like that it's Black Ops, you know, I will talk about the gameplay a little bit here, but you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Just come back, you know, just listen to it and do other things on your computer if you want. But I do have some fans who do want Black Ops, and I have at least 20 Black Ops games in my, um, my computer, in the gameplay folder, ready to go. And this game I finished with like a 3KD, it was only 39, but the, but the reason for this game is because in the beginning, I do terrible, I'm not going to lie. And that's because I do a strategy, which most noobs, no offense if you do this, but I run it, or rush it. That's all I do, I just run around, run around, and I get a kill, but then I get killed. And people kill me because I'm a running noob who gets out in the open and lets other people see me. But in the end, you will see me go back to my regular gameplay style of me guarding off an area and, you know, taking both sides, left, right, middle, and just watching over an area like if it's a headquarters. And that's what I do best in. That's what I advance in. And that's just how good I do. And that's what you'll see near the end. But, um, that's basically what the gameplay is about. Me talking about is the what you're probably wondering is you know oh dynamic you said you were gonna get more nukes and then maybe two gameplays I'm doing a lot of commentaries right now because over the next week or this week I'm gonna be going to my friends and so I'm getting a lot of commentaries done in the same day on these stocked up gameplays I have so that I can still post them even when I'm over there you know I'll leave my laptop running and uploading while I'm gone and then come back and you know answer any comments questions and stuff like that. <laughs> So it's all good. Don't worry. I'm making sure you guys have videos. And even when school starts, I will post a video every other day. And probably in between every other day, I'll post like a Dyna Moments or something small one-minute series. But it'll be a video every other day, which will be kind of better for you guys too because you'll have school. And when you, it'll, I'll upload it while I'm at school so you know, don't feel like you're going to miss anything. So you know, you'll go to school, you'll come home, and then you can watch my video. It'll be there. And another thing about bumping is please don't anyone accuse me of it. I don't do it. I never will do it. And if message me if it's hard for you to know when I post a new video because I'm trying to I have a lot of fans who like my videos but they don't know when I post a new one so it's harder for them to you know come watch it and like and favorite it and stuff like that that's another thing with like and favoriting the video every time I say that that helps get it out there so that other people can see it so please like and favorite the video yeah thanks and um so back to that the nukes will be coming soon I'm actually gonna play in an hour or so right now after I do a few commentaries I'm gonna play some games with Cyber Wolf once he gets back from McDonald's fatty going to eat at McDonald's no offense if you eat at McDonald's or a fat I'm not racist to any kind or fattest or anything like that don't worry about anything like that I like all my fans uh, this is a community channel I try to do anything you guys want so yeah don't worry about the nukes I'm trying my hardest to get those and I'll post my fails that I get and message me if you want me to do like a black ops or a modern warfare 2 live thing which just me like I have bunches of other live series I can do and I'm gonna post them out there and I'm gonna need your feedback on them because I don't want to keep posting episodes if you guys don't like it because then I won't do it but I want to know if you want me to try to do my live series like post me going live by myself sometimes doing good and if i should use my own guns or if i should do a randomly class generated gun so that way it's kind of you know not just me playing it's me trying to do a challenge and talk to you guys and just play how i normally would and talk how i normally would and going back to vengeance part two i still have no editor but i'm hoping fear zoru will edit it because all my other editors quit because one who was a guy who I really wanted to edit it all this stuff broke but the thing I didn't like about it was he ignored me for two weeks didn't tell me his things broke and he just told me on the show I'm done last night that it broke down so now I have to find a new editor and I tried to get this one editor with 80 subs and the reason I tried to get him was it wasn't even because he's good he's not even that good all he did was put like CC on his video that's color correction and the reason I picked him is because I know how hard it is to get out there on YouTube you know it took me a long time to get 700 subs almost 800 which is awesome guys keep helping me keep staying tuned I'm gonna post videos for a long time hopefully get more subscribers and get more fans because I do this for the fun of it and maybe eventually it'll become my job who knows but anyway he had like 80 subs or something and so I wanted to give him a chance to edit this to give him an opportunity to get out there and get more viewers and you know if you liked him maybe you check him out and what he did was 
he messaged me and he said, you know, maybe I'll do it. Send me some of the clips. And then he started yelling at me. He's like, oh, this is a private match. What are you doing? When it says GB clips, the first clips are GB clips. He goes, oh, I'm not editing a GB clip unless it's a 6v6 uh, five-man feed. Five-man feed in GB. This kid is retarded. Have you never played GB sniping? These is, this is the hardest environment to snipe in against everyone UMP tryharding, disputing you, and trying to get their record undefeated and go big. And you're playing against them with a sniper rifle. You are the underdog. And this kid is acting like they're all just going to come at me and be like spraying in the air. It doesn't work like that. There's strategic strategic finally got that word right they're strategic and they spread out they take their roots they rush and it's a lot harder than what you think it some people may think it's easy because you see some good snipers do it and i can do it i've gotten a triple feed i've gotten um i've gotten aces i've gotten clutches in it and it's it's difficult, but if you're good, you can handle it. But to get something like a five-man feed and a GB is not going to happen. And if you are, it is a one-time lucky thing. It's not as easy as you think. If you don't believe me, then you can go try it, okay? Because it is not as easy as you think. And then this guy goes, he comments on, no, he doesn't comment. He messages me again goes, okay, well, I'm better than you. He just messaged me that I don't know. He just says, I'm better than you. I go, how do you know you're better than me? He judges me by my clips, not by my online clips, not by my feeds or anything good like that. By my GB clips against red guns. He goes, oh, I could get all these feeds. I could get feeds like this easy. I could get feeds against these guys easy. I'm like, are you kidding? Do you not understand GB? Do you not know what this is? And he's acting like he's the shit and like he's the best when not trying to brag here, but he could not touch me in anything. I'm not going to say 1v1 because 1v1s don't prove anything. You know, any I played 1v1s. I've beaten plenty of people. I've lost my fair share of times. And it's basically about controlling the spawn, host advantage. If you can control the spawn, it's just not even fair to them. I mean, think about that. How is it fair to say you're good if you're a host and then you spawn trap them they're not even getting a shot off how does that show that you have more skill than them how does that saying that you're better than them because you can get your shots off faster on someone who's coming out of a spawn and you're sitting there with your sight on them ready you know where they're going to be with radar on how does that show that you're better than them it doesn't i 1v1 for fun like with my friends like i'll own cyber and cod 4 all the time for fun and listen to them going you freaking head glitching because it's fun but I don't say I'm completely better than you. Immortals, he does it for fun. He, anyone who says 1v1, he'll say, okay, okay, let's go. I'll host. He hosts it. He turns on a lag switch. He uploads a 30-minute video, and they're lagging everywhere. And he goes, oh, I'm owning you, kid. Look at this. And it teaches them a lesson. You know, what are they going to expect? That they're going to be better than them because, because it's a 1v1? No, you can't do that. And another thing, I hate when people try to judge, as I've said before, I'm sorry if I'm like, I'm not yelling at you, my voice is probably really loud, so you might want to turn it down. I'm not yelling at you, I'm just trying to tell you guys that this stuff, and KD does not matter, okay? Don't worry about your KD, don't do anything. The only thing that matters is that you're having fun, okay? I could have a good KD if all I did was try, but I don't. I like to have fun in the game. I jump off 111 times in a game. I do what's fun. Thanks guys, this has been Dynamic, sorry for all the yelling. I love you guys. Like and favorite me. And like me on Facebook. And follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. Peace.